So I wrote this to tell somebody who had been trying to get at me for a long time. He had been trying to get at me for a long time, but I wasn't really sure about him. I dug him a lot. I was really digging him, but I wasn't really sure about him, and I didn't want to just dive in with him, and I needed to let him know that I'm on the same page with you. I just can't go all the, where, all the way where you want me to go. Is that what you feel like? It ain't you. He know who it is. He know who he is. But I really can't go all the way there with you until I find out what it is that you really want with me. So I wrote this, and when I did it, he knew exactly who it was and what I was talking about. So uh, this has become kind of like a signature piece. So here we go. <clears throat> I got a little bit of a cold, too, so y'all bear with me. Um, Fucking you has always been on my mind. One of the top three things on my list of things to do, as a matter of fact, from time to time, if you watch me, you'll find me watching you. Maybe you couldn't see it because I didn't always show it, but rest assured and no, I do want to fuck you. However, lying down for kicks with tricks and waking up cold are days of old for me. You see, I've since moved on to some relationship type shit learning to control this itch and i can tell you've grown to be quite patient as well paying close attention to details like a forehead kiss pecks on the lips and warm hands tracing the curves of my hips lying fully dressed not vertically but horizontally across your bed I guess because you don't want to create an emotional mess or maybe you have a certain degree of respect for me and the situation, not wanting me to become undone by not being able to be number one. And you're right, because being number one sucks. I could give two fucks about being number one. I'm trying to be the only one. I'm trying to be the only one who brings you food that changes your mood, offers you a plate that puts a smile on your face. I'm trying to be the only one who straddles your lap while feeding you dessert, dropping the good girl act, no panties. Only my skirt. The muscle between your legs calls my mouth home, and that's exactly where you belong. At home, having that muscle stroked all night long until you start to moan, baby, please. Leave me alone. But I can't. I won't because I like you, and I don't know. Maybe you like me, too. I mean, you don't seem to mind at all when I call, and even when I, I busted a little little lightweight stalker move and, and I showed up at the same place as you <clears throat> all impromptu you simply smiled and said <clears throat> hey boo it's good to see you and it was good to see you too I do I do want to fuck you oh I've seen your work and it's pretty you probably got a purr from her little kitty but this is the big kitty and what we need is so much more we need more than a purr what we need is more of a roar. What we need is a work of art. What, what I need is your heart because that's the only way you'll be able to tell them and me apart. So it was no. For a long time, the answer was no. Didn't want to be your jump off, your dumping, bot, dumping spot, your honey pot, or just a warm place for you to masturbate. I'd much rather have each ejaculation be an opportunity for communication on how we can make it better. Oh, I do. I do so want to fuck you oh so bad. There were times I was glad you didn't offer or ask because I would have fucked you. I would have accepted your invitation and taken up cash donations for gas because your house is like really far. <laughs> Dropped my thong in the car, slipped hips in rotation and without hesitation been on my way to your house. As soon as I hit your back door, drop my knees to the floor and give you exactly what you have been waiting for, allowing you to bend me over your kitchen sink and inspire a rethink on my entire position. With each new position, make me make a new decision until finally I come to the conclusion that my conclusions may merely be illusions. I mean, never mind our destiny, the opportunity to become related, our fate already slated. I mean, after all, I am being touched by you. My nipples, my clitoris sucked by you. So what? Just, just lay back and get fucked? 
Well, that's just it. See, I don't want to just get fucked. I want you to take ownership of this ass. Yeah, we can practice freaking and being friends for around 76 weekends. You do the math. By then, you should realize that, yes, you can live without me. But, baby, you can't live without me. Why would you try? I mean, you don't even want to, especially when the only person I want to live with is you. I want to fuck you with your right hand around my neck. Smoothly force me against the wall in your hall. A low, deep whisper I hear in my ear, share my life. I love you. Be my wife. I do. I do. I want to fuck you on a rug in your attic while it's raining outside. Candles lit inside. Watching, but not really watching old episodes of The Family Guy. The Boondocks. Or maybe Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That would be so sweet to me. My legs spread as far as the east is from the west. We lay together, sweat, sexed, naked, tired, in front of a fire. I do. I do want you. And in case you don't believe for one moment, that's true. I doubt whether or not I really want to. Let me make it clear for you. I do.